My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, John the Baptist pointed out, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Two of his disciples, Andrew and John, followed him. Jesus asked them, What do you want? They asked him, Where do you stay? Jesus told them, Come and see. They went and stayed with him. Everything did not change dramatically. The beloved disciple heard the preaching of the Lord, saw his miracles, spent time with him. He is called the son of thunder together with his brother James. He wanted fire to come down on the Samaritans who did not want to accept Jesus. Together with his brother and mother, they approached Jesus to sit on the right and the left. But then, John the disciple is called the beloved. He loved Jesus. How nice it would be if you are called the beloved of Jesus. If you love Jesus, maybe you are not immediately becoming perfect, but over the years you will become more and more like Jesus. What are the consequences of this special love for Jesus? As I already told you, a privileged position in the heart of Jesus. That's why he could see transfiguration. He, should, he could see the resuscitation of Jairus' daughter. And he saw the Lord during his agony, passion. And then he writes in today's first reading, What we have seen, what we have heard, what we have experienced, what we have touched with our own hands, we are proclaiming. Let us see some of the things that happen in the life of John himself. First of all, we are told during the Last Supper, John's Gospel, 13th chapter, he sat near the breast of Jesus. He was the disciple who heard the heartbeats of Jesus, who felt the breath of Jesus. Others were arguing among themselves. If you love Jesus, you sit where others do not sit. He was the disciple who stood at the foot of the cross. If you love Jesus, you stand where others do not stand. All of them ran away in the Garden of Gethsemane. John's heart could not but come back to Jesus. Where alone he can find deliverance, forgiveness, restoration, came there. How much he loved the master. And the master trusted him. Come on John, you have to do to my mother what I would do if I were to be physically present. Take care of my mother. Responsibility. The gospel tells us he accepted her. If you love Jesus, you stand where others do not stand. Then Mary Magdalene, today's gospel reports to us, came and told Peter and John, you know, they have taken the body of our Lord away. We don't know where they have put him. Immediately running, the gospel tells us he ran faster. And then out of respect for Peter, he didn't even enter. And he allowed Peter to enter first. And the gospel of today concludes us saying, He saw the empty tomb and believed. If you love Jesus, you see what others do not see. 
If you love Jesus, you see what others do not see. And again, this is reported in the 20th chapter of John's Gospel. In the 21st chapter, Jesus himself joins them, becomes a cook for the disciples. Once again, there is a miraculous catch of fish. As soon as he sees the miraculous catch, it is John who sees, it is the Lord, he announces. It is the Lord, he announces. He sees, he believes what others do not see when others do not believe. And the whole book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, he sees visions. He encourages the church that is persecuted. John the disciple, John the evangelist sees what others do not see. John the disciple serves where others do not serve. This is St. John. Again and again, he tells the community which he was presiding. My dear brothers and sisters, love one another. One who experienced the love repeatedly. Tradition tells us he lived almost 100 years going on telling them, love one another. Let us be grateful for this beloved disciple. We may have our own fears, anxieties, insecurities as he ran away. But then let us run back to Jesus, follow him, love him, serve him, sit and stand and serve where others who do not know Jesus, who do not love Jesus, don't want to sit, don't want to stand, don't want to see, don't want to serve. May the beloved disciple, apostle and evangelist intercede for all of us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.